And I want you to know that if you're a student at Providence St. Mel, this world-class institution that happens to be on the west side of Chicago, you too are a child of privilege. And what will you do with the privilege? Oh, they tell me of a, a call to action for the students of Providence St. Mel. Students who will most likely receive college scholarships before achieving great success in whatever professional field they choose. It's in our mission statement. You know, we believe that we can take this place, this time, and this people and make a better place, a better time, and a better people. You know, with God's help. You know, we'll find a way to make one. I will overcome in Chicago. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Freedom attained through knowledge. Education is the key. And Providence St. Mel has shown over 40 years plus to produce students who are competent, who possess character, who possess a work ethic, determination to accomplish their goals. This is undeniable. Why are you better than charter schools and all the rest? Because we demand more. We expect more. You will be successful. The expectations that I place on the students here uh, are high. You know, we don't lower our expectations for anyone, and we, we expect anyone, every student that walk through those doors to do their very best and work their hardest to achieve their full academic potential. Bernard Lilly Jr. and his Providence St. Mel classmate, Fanita Robbins, received four-year scholarships to highly regarded Lawrence University. Fanita majors in math and is a sprinter on the track team. Bernard, an anthropology major, writes and composes music that is already drawing notice from highly regarded talent scouts. But you know I've, I've stayed strong. Expressing deep artistic emotion requires confidence and strength, qualities Bernard traces back to his time at Providence St. Mel. I would say the most important thing was seeing people who look like me uh, go on to do better things with their life. Uh, go on to college uh, and go beyond college and be successful. Um, I was there from kindergarten to 12th grade. At the age of five, I knew I was going to college. If I didn't go to St. Mel, I wouldn't be here. Or at the many Ivy League universities and other top colleges in London and other cities and countries around the world where Providence St. Mel graduates have made their mark. Do you have a gift? Um, my ambition. He's majoring in engineering. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. Providence St. is a, a jewel. For me as a parent, they, they let your student, your child know we believe in you. This is a school that will help your son or daughter be the person that they want to be. They won't hold them back. They'll work with the kids' dreams to get them where they want to go. Even before they know where they want to go, Greg Canty's post-collegiate life led him to positions of astounding stature, a richness of experience he never imagined as a struggling freshman at a Chicago public school. Then his mother happened upon a Providence St. Mal brochure. And she slid it across the kitchen table and said, this is the school you're gonna go to. And I said to myself, I'm not going there. And I said, she said, well, you were gonna take the exam and that's, this is the school I've decided you're gonna go to. I said, what about my friends? She said, you'll find new ones. <laughs> and that's how I, was introduced to Providence St. Mel. Here we go. We shall For over 40 years, it's been their duty to alter the destinies of children, especially those who once might have felt destined to fail. Some of my strongest teacher, um, student, current relationships are with students who struggled very bad. Anita Robbins was once one of Mr. Hendricks' struggling students in math class. Now she is on the verge of graduating from college as a math major. The teachers, like, they gave you that extra push, like, you gotta do better than average. Like, and you did? Yeah. Yeah. 
Lives forever changed by a Providence St. Mel education. It's flying <laughs> colors, right? <laughs> you know, always repping. Same. <laughs> An immeasurable gift, freeing the recipients to live up to the dream, articulated by Martin Luther King when he said, show me how to take who I am, who I want to be, and what I can do, and use it for a purpose greater than myself. <laughs>